Hello my girls, welcome back to Simply Innovation. Today I'm gonna show you a simple Internet of Things experiment, basic experiment using ESP8266. I'm using Node MCU ESP8266 with a DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor, also a potentiometer and an LED. This device will post the data to my own backend server using Node.js framework that deployed on OpenNode.io, then push the data, store the data into MongoDB database hosted on mlab.com. So from my ESP8266, post the data every 10 seconds to my Node.js backend server hosted on OpenNode.io, then store the data into MongoDB database hosted on mlab.com. Let's get started. So I've created a simple backend project with Node.js framework, then deployed on OpenNode. Here is my account. I've deployed my project IoT Lintang here to OpenNode.io. Let's see my backend server response here. Nice, it works. On MLab, I've created a simple documents, a database called Simple Innovation, and also a document with no data here. Okay, no document, none at this time. Now let's turn my ESP8266 on. I'm using 5 volt from my USB laptops. Let's turn it on and it will send the data to my Node.js backend server every 10 seconds. Okay, nice. Let's wait. Potentiometer is minimum here. Nice. LED is on. It means my ESP8266 sends the data. To my backend server project okay now on mlab let's refresh my document here my collection let's see nice there are already two data here consists of suhu temperature humidity and analog analog value okay it works let's refresh again there are three data already okay nice let's try to maximize the potentiometer here is zero let's maximize the potentiometer value maximum value and wait for a moment refresh the mlab let's see the last data here analog 1024 it works Let's try again. Minimize the potentiometer value. It's minimum. Let's wait a moment, then refresh my MongoDB MLab hosting. And it's still 1024. Wait a moment. Refresh again. It must be zero. Nice. The latest data analog zero. So my backend server project send the data, suhu, temperature, lembab, humidity, and also analog value, also waktu or time. This is from my backend server. So that's it. A simple experiment connecting my ESP8266 to Node.js framework project that deployed on OpenNode.io, then push the data, store the data to MLab. Dot com mongodb database hosting nice for full tutorial you can check the link on description below thanks for watching don't forget to like share subscribe and see you on the next simple project by simple innovation bye